And welcome back to Let's Play Sam and Max Hit the Road. When we came, we left, we got some more of this uh, Yeti hair. So let's let's get out of here. Come on there, Sam. Let's go. And let's get in our car. And then let's go to the Ball of Twine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tram launch leading to the Ball of Twine restaurant, and this sign points to the Twine Museum. Well, we're gonna get on the on the tram. Oh no, come back! I need you! I need you! Come back! Take a leg, Max. It'll run away, trust me. There we go. Hey, look! <laughs> that take, that, you've killed it. That's one long loose end. Too bad we can't reach it from this side of the deck. You always need a large piece of string in games like this. Indeed you do. Oh my. Seafood. I see food. I see it everywhere. Fresh fish. It's a conveniently located pair of mounted binoculars. These exposed wires look like they're part of the restaurant control mechanism. Hmm. They look like overcooked pasta to me, Sam. What in the hell is going on? Is that you doing that? Nope. Alrighty. I'd better put these wires back first. No, don't put the wires back first. I'd better put these wires back first. Sam. Thank you. Oh! Now I can control speed and direction of the diner via these mounted binoculars. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Take that. Uh, maybe not. Alright, so that's been done. Now let's see. Let's see. Okay, I've lodged the magnifying lens in front of the mounted binoculars. Okay, we don't have to do anything with it just yet. That's what's been going on. You know, you could go blind if you keep staring at things like that. Or masturbate. I'm f***ing concentrating. <laughs> what you doing? Using my telekinetic powers to bend my tools. Why? To help me fix the rotating mechanism on this f***ing diner. Well, that makes sense. You said fuck. What are these malformed tools good for? Lots of things. <laughs> like scratching those hard to reach places. Every place is hard for me to reach. Would you like a free sample? Why, yes. Sure. I can put it in my Go pants. Go ahead and take this one. Thanks. Yoink! Have you heard anything about Bruno the Bigfoot? Who the f*** is Bruno the Bigfoot? <laughs> Sam, he's speaking in tongues! Should I even bother asking you about Conroy Bumpus? F*** no! <laughs> hey, lay off the swearing. We're trying to appeal to kids. Yeah! 
Get bent. Oh. Hey, lay off the swearing. We're trying to appeal to kids. Get bent. How do you bend these tools anyway? You think I'm going to spill my f***ing secrets <laughs> to you two mama looks? Oh my. Well, bye. Well, let's get out of here. Maybe. I can't pick that up. Whee! Now we'll go to the museum later. I'll show it when the time is right. The time is not right. Let's get in the car! See what this does. I can't use these things together. Nothing. I think it's because it's the fiberglass one. Can't remember which one it is. Ah, it might be this one or that one or that one. What is that? There we go. That did the trick. It did do the trick. <laughs> Look at his face. And you. It's kind of wobbly in here. <laughs> uh... Hey, Max, come here. Get in there. Geronimo! <laughs> One must admire the skill with which the wily Uber Trout stalks its prey. Uber. This is one of the ten most liberating experiences of my life, Sam. Holy mackerel. I'm a trout, stupid. <laughs> Holy trout. There we go. I'd always thought you were made of plaster. It's a lie. The fish is a lie. That's right, I said it. The fish, it's a lie. Oh. You could do it, fisherman. Get him. Man, you're breathing heavy. Oh dear. I think he's dead. Now what do we do, Sam? I'm thinking. What's that noise? Something. It sounds like you do when you've eaten too much Thai food, Sam. Ugh. Thai food is good and makes you shit. At least it makes me. I like how the truck is in that fish's mouth. It's funny. Like funny haha. -ha. Not the other funny. Whoop. Whoop. Oh well, looky there. <laughs> Great sound. Like, you can't see our eyes. <laughs> I told you I had a plan. Hey, Max, I've got another plan. You might not like this one. I think I liked you better when you were clueless. Shut up and climb over the rail. You can do it, Max. See? That wasn't so bad. 
What are you two doing out here? Nerthen. Any more bright ideas? Let's start crying like babies. That works. <laughs> Galileo was wrong. I don't think we were in a vacuum, Max. Hey, how will we get our car back? Wait for it. What? <laughs> okay. Let's go while we're in here. Where did you just... It's raining fish heads. Now there's something you don't see every day. Donut? What the hell are you talking about, Sam? We What's dump a our donut? fish heads out the window all the time. Yeah, but these are halibut. Fun facts about the world's largest ball of twine. If laid out from end to end, the ball would stretch from here to the far side of Jupiter. That's a damn big ball string. Also, scientists theorize that by 2053, the sheer weight of the ball will push the Earth out of its orbit. Propelling our planet on a collision course with the sun. Awesome. Good thing my life expectancy is only six years. Way to take the short view, little buddy. This sign tells me more than I really want to know about this monstrosity. <laughs> According to the plaque, this is a shaving from the first foot of the ball of twine. I didn't know it was old enough to shave. But do it's a one two hundred thousand scale model of the actual ball of twine. Wow. And it's only one two hundred thousand as stupid as the actual ball of twine. I hear you there. Hmm. Let's see. Where is our hand? And boop. And then... There, we have ourselves a contraption. Shouldn't you be posing for a painting with a pitchfork? <laughs> Can I help you? This ball isn't really made from a continuous piece of twine, is it? Uh, yep, it's the longest piece of twine in the world by 92 yards. Good thing we only took 91 yards. Uh, what's that? He said, wood things come in jars. Oh. <laughs> As Conroy Bumpus passed through here, who is that? He's a country western star gone berserk with power. Like Con... Con... I wouldn't know him if I saw him. I don't get out much. Obviously, you stay in the Museum of Twine. What's with all the fish guts flying past the window? Those are leftovers from our last fish delivery. Our famous rotating restaurant has fresh fish flown in every day from the world of fish in Mosquitoville, Missouri. Ah. You haven't seen an eight-foot-tall woodland creature answering to the name of Bruno around here, have you? Are you talking about Bruno the Bigfoot? Yeah. He and a bunch of other Bigfoots helped build the ball of twine back in 56. Why, the stories I could tell. But please don't. No! <laughs> I've heard enough stories today. Have you seen Bruno recently? I haven't seen Bruno in 30 or so years. Is he in trouble? Yeah, no. Uh, depends on your definition. Maybe. I like to use the one that involves spiny echidna. Well, is there anything else I can help you with? Probably not. How'd you get this job anyway? I clawed my way to the top, trampling those foolish enough to get in my way. Ah. Uh, That'll be all for now. Bye bye. Let's see if we can use our, uh... I can't use these things together. Hmm. I think we might have to go back up there. Don't leave, don't leave. Whew. Take a leg, Max. Whee! Yay! I'm having fun. Whoop. We're at the biggest ball of twine by one yard. 
I just imagine a uh, thing like that would not be very safe. Well, where's my... So is it not gonna let me do it? Maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. I can't use these things together. Hmm. This is a com this is a completely un I can't reach that door from here. Could you bend this? <laughs> Are you mad? I can't bend that. It's a conveniently it's a conveniently located pair of mounted but We were rotating. Can I get out? What have I done? Can I not get out? I want to get out. I want to get out. I want to get out. I want out. Oh God. Okay, why can't I get out? I'm sure this is somehow useful, but I'll be damned if I know how. Escape got me out. I've got to use this elevator. No kidding. Now somehow I've got to get something from the ball of twine. And it needs to let me. I think I know what I was doing wrong. No touching. I need to do it in here. That's the problem. <laughs> There's a dead man in there. Oh, that's pleasant. There we that go. That was wholesome. <laughs> Not to mention physically improbable. Well, of course, but that's what makes it fun. I must be happy. Must be something. It's 91 yards of twine. <laughs> it's a still walker's costume. It's the portable car bomb game. It's one of those jumbo size all you can drink Snuckies cups. It's almost as big as my head. That's pretty darn big. It's a, score it's a scorecard from the Gator Golf Emporium. It's a hunk of bleach blonde Sasquatch fur and mange. Ew. Suitable for framing. Ew. It's a broken. Alright, we're here for a reason because when I did this at first. I forgot to get something. And at least it's in this video to where people aren't going to go, You Fine. forgot it! Let's blah, go. Blah, blah, blah. Hopefully I can still get out here. Okay. Can we go, Sam? This place still gives me the creeps. This is what we need. It's a snow globe from the Mystery Vortex in scenic Goldwump, Washington. That's why we needed that so we Let could go see. there. Take a look. Too bad it's empty or we could shake it. Is there an outhouse like on there? Yeah. What's that writing on the bottom of the globe? To Elmo the Bigfoot. Keep on trucking. Shavuel the Mole Man. Hey, maybe Shavul's at the Mystery Vortex. Let's go there before I'm distracted by something. Let's go there before I'm distracted by something.
We're getting there, as soon as it would let us walk. Okay, let's see. Oop. Sam, this place is making my head ping. <laughs> That's probably just the metal plate in your head. Well, that's really weird. Wow. Let's see. <laughs> Hi, outhouse. Good lord. It's a possessed outhouse. This kind of thing wouldn't happen if they had indoor plumbing. I don't know, it might. Who knows what makes these inanimate objects dance their infernal jitterbug? I do, I do! I think they're controlled by a series of really big magnets under the Earth's crust. You're an ignorant dolt, Max. Mystery Vortex. Let's go in! I just heard a duck. Oh, Max, you okay back there? Wow. Yipes! Gravity's taken a holiday and lost its luggage. Oh! That's not what I'm about to lose. I think I'm gonna throw up. Ugh. Throw down. Whatever. Okay. Stealth gib to Oba Wonk Oi Odd Ta. I'm upside down, kitty, not dyslexic. Oh. <laughs> Do you sell any snow globes like this one? We used to, but not anymore. Why not? Because they were having an inexplicably bad effect on the vortex. With every new snow globe we built, the vortex got weaker and weaker. The same thing happens when I watch sitcoms. So we decided to discontinue the snow globes for financial reasons. I guess this means you don't have any snow globe stoppers. You got it. Hmm. Do you know who Conroy Bumpus is? Or Conway Twitty? Yes, and he was here looking for a Bigfoot. Then he got sick and had to leave. <laughs> this place seems to have that effect on people. Well, considering they have Bigfoot and ice and melting, hmm. I'm looking for a Bigfoot. You too? I used to have a Bigfoot in that black of ice over there. Yesterday I stepped out to have my spine recompressed, and <coughs> when I got back, he was gone. Spine recompression. Cool. Are you feeling as mentally unstable as I am? More so. It'll wear off in a few hours. Are you feeling as <laughs> mentally unstable as I am? More so. It'll wear off in a few hours. It will. I feel like my sense of reality has just exploded. Boom! Try cutting down on cholesterol. Don't you get tired of always hanging around here? I'm fine as long as I keep denying the urge to fall or jump. We'll be back. Back, front, it's all the same to me. You're giving me a headache. More Sasquatch hair. Hmm. I don't think she'd want that. I would. I'd always want it. Bigfoot. What does this do? That special booth is filled with the magical, mystical mysteries of the universe. Say that one three times really fast. Hmm. I can't pick. No, really. I can't pick that. <laughs> no, Can really. we try the vortex? Step right in. Ooh. 
Neat. <laughs> okay. Now, and we come back, we're gonna deal with this place. So this has been Sex Cat 20 playing Sam and Max Hit the Road. Thanks for watching. Bye.